Uh, let's see here. Pull this up. If it'll let me. Okay. Do I have... Oh, there's that. All right. I have a animal bed directly under where my feet go because shenanigans happened I want this closer though can I adjust this on the fly We'll see if the camera decides to not sink on me. Because I swear it's moving. Or the cats are banging it or something. Alright, well Cal, you're going to have to deal with my foot in the box. Because I got nowhere else to put it right now. I think I got all the. Uh, I don't know if I did. Isn't sure. Oh, uh oh. Well, that's gone. Right. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to use this then. I hope I don't spill that bottle until later when I can deal with it. Okay, so. For those that are new here. We are needle felting. We are in the middle of a project. We are trying to follow the season three Bob Ross Joy of Painting tutorials, except instead of using paint this time, we are using needle felting. We have followed several tutorials with painting in the past with oil painting. Um, I decided to change things up and follow this season with needle felting. It is a little more time consuming. We have been at this for quite a while. But we have finally gotten to episode 10. The link is in the chat for the tutorial on the Bob Ross YouTube page. For anyone that wants to go and look at that in full. I have it muted in the bottom corner. Um, it will be muted a lot. It will be on pause a lot. I do have closed captioning on it for when we do advance it, but we don't have it playing all the time. So we are picking up where we left off last week with putting it in our bit of ground here. Now this one's gonna come in um, as our chocolate brown hair. Basically our Van Dyke brown equivalent. Um, because it is closer, it's going to be more silhouetted. We are working on the campfire episode, which kind of looks like we are burning down the forest at the moment. It's really hard to convey it for me in this medium. I was originally going to skip this one because I just wasn't sure 
if I could pull this off. Still not so sure about this, but uh, we're giving it a, a go. I'm just putting a little bit of water on my finger. Um, helps this uh, cooperate a little bit more uh, when I'm trying to roll it up there. Um, I'm using acrylic yarn instead of roving. If you would rather go the tradi traditional roving route, that is just fine. Uh, the acrylic yarn was a little bit more budget friendly for me and color friendly for the amounts that I was going to need. Because the actual roving just wasn't fitting in my budget for the amount that I was going to require. And I also wanted to show that you can do this with acrylic yarn, especially if you have like wool allergies and stuff. Now I do have some roving, they're little tiny amounts that I had gotten out of like an X number of color set, but n there was just not enough of any one color to do something this size. This is approximately... When we started out, it was approximately 8 by 10. Approximately. Now, it might be a little bit smaller than that by the time everything is said and done. But that's what our inner box is. But when we go to clean everything up, we might lose a little bit on the edges. We shouldn't lose too much, but also when um, we're stabbing in, we're tightening, tightening up all of our fibery friends here of our base fiber. Uh, it's just a square craft felt. Um, now this is like the basic 25 cent one. I did pick up a thicker one I saw that was 39 cents a piece and I didn't know they made them that thick in the craft section. And we might give that one a, a whirl just to see how it does, see if I like it on the next one. I might hate it, but we'll see. So I was trying to do this in the most budget friendly way possible for my budget. So here we are. And whoop, and the cat left. We had to put the original dog bed under my desk last night because shenanigans happened. So, um, And then nobody ended up using it but the cat. But you know what? If it keeps the cat out of trouble, that particular cat, then that's fine. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. I think today might actually be St. Patrick's Day. If you do go out drinking today, please have a designated driver. That would be lovely for everyone concerned. Mm. 
Oh, frick. And I like to work in smaller bits. If you would like to work in larger bits, that's totally fine. This just works better for me. Alright, I'm going to tend to overlap a little bit with the colors already down, just so we don't have any, or to try to eliminate any weird seams and gaps and stuff. Also using a small needle. I can't tell you the precise number on it. The kit that I got these needles from did not have a number on it. It just had S on the the vial that um, these guys were in. I've tried the slightly thicker needles. I don't like them. And they usually say like the tighter weave of your fabric the smaller needle you want to go now felt's not like super tight but I like the feel of the small needle better than the other ones and I know some people use the multi needle tools um, not a huge fan of the multi needle I've tried it a couple times I kind of prefer the uh, the single guy. Now, the single guy will take a little bit more time, but it doesn't make my arm as tired. So that's what I'm going to go with. Now we might have a delivery show up today. I don't know. I'm really confused. Um, Russell's aunt said she was going to have something delivered here. One of Russell's aunts um, hasn't shown up yet. Uh, she's going to order it now. Oh, she never ordered it? Yeah, she didn't get a chance to. Uh -oh. I've got to text her our actual address. Oh. I thought she had it. So we might have a delivery show up later. Oh, hello, Air. Remember you from yesterday. Yeah, sometimes I don't talk loud enough. I as close as I can place my microphone. It's actually closer than it was yesterday. And I can't turn it up any louder than it already is. And how are you today? Hope all is well. Wow, you are super quiet. Why am I so quiet? I don't know. Did you check your settings? Oh, I have the wrong ear. 
microphones in my face. Sorry. I was gonna say I heard I was me come. when I heard you say that. You need a compressor on that mic in OBS. Compressor. All right, I'll have a look at it after you're done. Well, do I need to pause and have you do it no, now? You're, you're not so bad that you gotta stop what you're doing. I am on the right mic, right? You are. Yeah. I was say, I don't think I have any other mics available. When I had the other camera, the other camera had a mic built into it, and sometimes on Windows updates, it would swap my default mic, and I didn't realize it. I will try to protect project more. I default talk quietly. But I did move the mic a little bit closer. Alright, so we are working on our little bit of land sticking out into the lake. You're high, by the way. Okay. All right, then. All right. So, according to the tutorial, we're about... halfway through. About. We'll see. Sometimes we can zip through. Alright, I think we need we're gonna trim this. Want a little bit smaller piece here to connect everything there. And we'll get this worked into here. So that kind of takes care of any of the weird little seams that were starting to happen in that spot. So the bottom might be a little uneven. That's all right. Um, we'll get that taken care of. as uh, things go and then our dowel rod is going to sit on the bottom and that's going to help us even up that bottom a little bit with the magic of illusion. After we trim up everybody, so we're going to trim up the sides. We'll trim off the extra flappies and try to even this up a little bit when we're all done. I still have to prime the dowel rods. We're nowhere near those yet though, I don't think. I should have time to do that this week maybe. So we'll see. Depends on how far we get. I have um, done that process on 
a couple of the live streams, maybe one, because they do take time to dry, but I do have the heat tool now, so that could speed up our drying process as well. And I've got my little triangle stands. Now we could go, I gotta look at what size dowel rods I have because I don't have very many of the um, of the flat ones left. I need to see how many of those I've got remaining. And I need to open my box of doodads because I think I might have some little uh, like knobs or little like dowel rod caps that I might be able to put on my round ones to um, jazz this guy up a bit. I'm not sure what color we're going to paint it yet. I do have like a rusty red color. that we might go. I don't know if that would be too much red, but I mean, white would be awfully bold and that might be too bright. Um, I think yellow would be too much. Going with like a dark brown, might be too brown, I don't know. We might do it live and see what color is going to work there. I do have like a metallic gold, I think that might be too much, might, would be a little gaudy. It took me a while to realize where the thunk 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 was coming from. Yes, it's from the fluff going into the felt and the pad. Because you have to have a mat underneath of this of some description so you don't snap your needle to give the needle a chance to weave all of the fluff together through your, your um, base fabric, whatever that happens to be. Some people use styrofoam. I don't like styrofoam. It's too scritchy. It's uh, very, very harsh on my ears, let alone anybody else's. We've had to do it on the gingerbread house that we made. Um, not this past holiday season, but the one before it. Because our base was styrofoam and our Christmas tree was styrofoam. And that was, that was pretty rough. And I have used styrofoam as inner molds before. But it's a little rough on the ears. This is a lot softer and doesn't have quite the nails on chalkboard sound. That some, like some people use the harder styrofoam, some people have found like a soft foam. I know one person said that they made their own with like burlap and I think rice they said. Something like that. I don't like to use the foam, just the foam, because it breaks down too fast. I prefer these wool mats a lot better. They last a bit longer, they're not as messy. I've even seen some people say they buy like the large sheets of um, house insulation 
like the foam sheets and cut that down to use. And I guess if you're going with the foam, you don't have to release it from your mat as much. Um, this one we have to release from the mat pretty regularly just to make sure we don't become too attached to the mat. Because if we wait to the end, it's never going to come off. It's just not. Not without destroying the mat. That's, that's not going to be a good time at all. At least the fun tack I picked up is keeping my, uh, my, um, little flamingo guy from rattling around quite so much like it was the other week. I had to get fun tack to try to put under my brush holder. I haven't had the chance to put it on that yet. Because the cats kept trying to get in and out of the window behind my monitor and twice in the middle of the night they knocked over the little plastic vase that I have the brushes I'm currently using everywhere. And boy did that make a sound. Very jarring in the middle of the night. So not quite so fun. At least the thunks are coming through pretty good. But we did move the microphone closer, so it's probably picking it up a bit more. Along with the traffic. We haven't gotten the, uh... I can't do anything about the traffic. We live on a busy road. I don't have enough wall space to put up those little foam things and I'm not sure that would do much for that anyway. It's just a thing here. We live on like the main road through our town and people have very loud vehicles. So that's just something we cannot change so we live with it as best as we can. kind of overlap the line a little bit. And we will go from there. Okay. We get this guy attached into here. Still not sure how I feel about this one. This one might stay in the ugly stage. A couple other people have liked it so far. I mean, it was, it's not bad for an oil painting. It's pretty different for Bob. It's just, I'm not, 
sure how I feel about this one. I mean, I liked it when he did it. I'm not liking me doing it, but... We'll see it through. So after this one, we'll have three more left to go in this season. And then we might do one of our our own guys. There's, there's a couple I want to get back to that I started that um, I haven't really gotten anywhere yet so I might restart them and uh, do them on stream instead I should still have the reference photos for those But we'll see. I haven't completely made up my mind yet about that. We still have a while to go. Do have a thin spot right there. Actually, that might also be. No, that's just the way the light's reflecting. So that's okay. I don't know why we have this weird little divot here, though. Like it. It's strangely bumping inward. I don't know why. That section's being a little bit weird. Twice now I thought we had taken care of it. I mean, we can just come in a little bit further when we trim the sides, so it might not be that big of an issue. So we'll see about that. guy all worked into here. Alright. But we still have So if there are any little tiny thin spots, I want to take care of them now. Just to make sure they're not going to be a bigger problem. In the long run. Okay, 
Let's see, how we doing? All right, well that little problem section's filled in. Okay. Come back in here for the next bit. So we're also going to have to mix some more grassy things because this section does get the grass treatment. Kind of like how up above got the grass treatment. what color combo I need for that. It might be the same that we used up there, maybe just not as much orange. I am still working on the Chungus video edit. I promise I am. Rotate the mat there. Um, I didn't get that far last night. Well, no, that's not true. I got about another hour ish of editing done last night around all of the stupid that happened um, yesterday evening. So, which was amazing that I even got that much uh, slogged through because the live stream um, edits take me a lot longer than the recorded edits because in the live stream edits I'm stopping and talking with my hands a lot and I'm trying to cut all of that out as much as I can And I did hit the three hour time lapse mark on Jungus. And I saw that I did do a five hour live stream on that one at some point, but I still have yet to figure out where that's going to get slid in. So this is going to be a long time lapse video for Chungi Boy. There was a lot of video. I did like it better when I was working on the recorded sessions though, because I was breaking those up into like hour, hour and a half blocks. So it felt like I was actually accomplishing more when I was editing. I was like, yeah, I got through this chunk and I got through that chunk. And seeing a whole three plus hour chunk of video I have to cut down is exhausting. The Bob Ross time lapse of the last project we did, um, Russell did his pass. I just have to do the final edit and lay the background audio in on it. But I need to get through Chungus first and he can't really help me with Chungus. because he's not as picky as I am when it comes to editing. And he's refusing to do the micro 
cuts that I do. He's like, yeah, I'm not doing that. He's like, I don't have the patience for that. And, you know, fair enough. I know I'm picky with it. And that's okay. But it does take me a little bit longer to get through everything when I've got other daily life stuff happening, so. Fair enough. I'm not going to put the reflections under this chunk of land though. And that is because the dowel rod is going to cover it. So I kind of don't really need to go that step. Because that would just be a waste of time. And materials. Gonna try to get a little bit closer to that line down there. Probably won't really succeed, but and it doesn't matter that much. down to just a little triangle you guy so that's something but I do have just a little bit of a thin spot right there so let's fill that guy in like a little gap for men. So we get that guy popped into there. All right. Now, at least it won't take us all day to get this section filled in. Only take us part of the day. So it is a somewhat smaller section. So we do have that going for us. Okay. 
I might need to add a little bit more to that corner just to kind of even it out a bit. It's not a whole lot. You alright? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you did that. Between that and my walk, I've gotten my miles, so. No, I'm just surprised you did it with your head hurting. Yeah, but it needs doing. Like... Now, pop that guy up there, get our next little guy and worked into here. And we'll get this stuff tapped in and all attached. I've got something over here that keeps rattling and I don't know what it is. It's something though. Brush the back down. Let's check how we're doing. I am going to have to trim up this guy here. On the bottom. Like we kind of trimmed up that section a bit. just kind of want to make sure that we're not overlapping too far down. We don't want it uh, hanging past our our dowel rod on the back. Right, I guess I either lost a bit of fluff somewhere or I used it all. And I wasn't paying that much attention, so either could be possible. Oof. Not quite the consistency I'm looking for there. Okay, so I'm gonna overlap our line and I'm gonna tap in on the line. And just kinda
hope that the line fills in appropriately. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. And I also can't make it too super thick here. Because I need to be able to cut through it. So it's kind of like a fine line we've got to balance through here. Excuse me. Let's grab the next bit of fluff here. It did kind of look like we had a thin spot trying to move in. So we're going to overlap that a bit. more water. We're getting there. We've only got a little sliver left here. That we still need to uh, deal with. Take you up just to try to even that out a little bit more. We will see how that works out. Like this is where our line is. So yeah, definitely need a bit more of our brown. just wasn't quite enough there. In fact, we'll probably need a couple more pieces in here 
just to make sure all of our gaps are filled in. And to even it out, because this feels like it's sunk in a little. It's not terribly so, but it did sink in a little bit, because it's a little bit thinner of a fluff layer. I'm definitely gonna have to move this box that uh, the dogs were using that the cat decided to use back into the other room because I feel like I am yards away. from where I need to be. position I'm in is killing me. Like part of my back is not happy at all. So if you go in at a slight angle, sometimes you can move your fluff around to where you need it to be. Go, please. All right. So. See here. So this spot was trying to be a little bit thin. So we're going to double up on that guy. And I know we're going to be putting some grassy things on top of this hill. But if I don't take care of this now and make sure we're pretty solid. When we go to start putting the grassy bits in, I'm gonna have some, or run the risk of some thinner spots opening up, or from being a little tiny thin spot to a much bigger thin spot that's gonna be harder to deal with. So that's why I'm a little extra picky on making sure we're covered. Just so it's less of an issue later. I think we did have some thin spots open up up there. Or at least that's what it looks like to my eyes. And we try to fix it. But I'm not 100% convinced that I got all of them. I may not have. All 
Alright. Pop this guy up. Okay, so right there, that needs to get filled in. I thought we still had a spot that was a little questionable. On up in there. Alright, so we get that hopefully filled in. Take another look here in just a second. our map. Okay. So now we are going to pop the tutorial forward in just a minute. We got our dirt in place. Oh, that's right. We have to highlight it now. Okay. Forgot about the highlight. So let's see here. I can find my highlight color uh, in the bottom of the bucket. I have all of this project's fluff colors put aside in a bucket because I didn't have enough room to hang them specifically pulled out like I did before. I mean, I have all my colors hung up next to me, so that's easier. I don't have to go far if I need to grab a different color. on the uh, fluff wall, but I also wanted to make sure that I had this project specific colors pulled out. So that I only had a few to dig through to make sure I was grabbing the right colors and the consistent colors. So I mean I do have some colors written down next to me on our sketch that we did, but sometimes I change my mind and I'm like, mm, you know. I think this color would really look better and I don't always notate that I changed it. I just pull the color out and swap them. Okay, so I am trying to pull apart these fibers a little bit just because I don't want the highlight here super super thick his um, is broken kind of like how he does his mountain highlights and shadows so I want to try see if we can do something similar
And actually, it's been a while since we've had a proper Bob Mountain in this series, isn't it? I think we had a proper Bob Mountain for the first one. And I don't think we've had one since. To be perfectly honest. thinking about it. And I don't think we have a proper Bob Mountain in the last three either. Like the next one is a barn that's kind of like center stage. I think it's like out in the middle of a field. There might be a foothill or a distant silhouetted mountain in the next one. Maybe? But I don't really remember. Steve puts a mountain in the last one, but I can't remember if it's a silhouetted one or not. everybody's having a good weekend. Hope your Sunday is rolling along peacefully. Our tiny small amount of uh, non-shenanigans got destroyed last night, so... Shenanigans are deeply afoot again over here. The fuckery duck found us. And is pooping all over everything again. So that's fun. No, not really. What are you up to? Uh, discovering the mystery of the floor. Oh? Yeah, someone had tipped over the uh, pineapple in there. It's coming from the fridge? Yeah. Oh my. Well, it was. I've got it now. Did you have to mop the whole floor? Or did you just hand wipe it up? Oh, I haven't yet. Like, I wiped around the, the thing and whatnot, but I gotta give it a mop anyhow. Alright, so we're just working on getting our highlight in place here. I really didn't think I was that much quieter than yesterday.
I mean, I heard me come through your other headphones. Yeah, no, it's not too bad. I find it odd that yesterday I was louder. I apologize, you had me uh, like noise for a second. Do I need to mute? No. Nah. That's why I asked if I needed to mute. Well, it's okay. Yeah, but some people get weird about that. Oh, wow. Well. Sorry, people who are weird about that. Alright, so it's, it's a little bit of a thinner highlight. But that's probably not a bad thing. Right. Just have a little bit left here. Get that worked into here. And remember, when you've got the little wispy strands, sometimes it takes a little extra tapping to get those guys attached so they don't take off on you. So we've got the um, highlight in there. All right, so he's going back to the fan brush. Yellow ochre, Indian yellow, and a touch of perm red. So it's the same colors. Kind of seems like it's pretty much, yeah, pretty much the same colors. Okay, so we're done with highlight color. You have a Momo, by the way. Do I need to get him? No, I got him. Okay. All right, just a minute, Momo. He's been acknowledged. So what yellow was it? I think it was Varsity Gold. Yeah, glorious Gold. And straight up orange, I believe. What about Gold Gold? I don't have Gold Gold. Like, are we talking Metallic Gold, or? No, just Gold. No. I don't have that. What about gold, gold, gold? It's no. A, it's a step between gold, gold, and white gold. No, see, you need like frivoly, foo fooey names on yarn. On, That's how this works. Got a little bit of orange that you can hardly see on the table. Get our yellow. There we 
kind of laying on top of that. And I think I might take this um, a little more glorious gold heavy. He's such a smart ass. I don't name these colors. I know he was fucking with me. Because that's what he does. Alright, so on this side we'll grab a little bit more yellow. Stop sticking. That's not enough. Everything's clinging to me today. It's a little bit more glorious gold. We might have to end up mixing a little bit more of this. Okay, so I guess we'll start about there. And just kind of work our way up. Oh yeah, we're going to place a lot more of this. Alright. So I'm just going to kind of like spread out our fluff there a little bit just so it's not quite so chunky in there. Okay, Let's tap that guy in. And again, that's going to end up being tapped into your desired tappiness. You can make some bits a little bit taller than others if you so choose. That is going to be up to you. doesn't get too attached to itself here. And this is just basically planting your grass how you see it. So it's going to be up to you.
And since it's our lake that's on fire, we get to choose where and how much we want to put in. So totally up to you. What uh, you want to do here. figure out what the hell is rattling on my desk. I don't know what it is, but every so often something like kicks into high gear and rattles. It's kind of frustrating not knowing what the noise is. Freaked myself out the other day from a sound in the kitchen. It was kind of spooky. Like it almost sounded like somebody grinding down a piece of metal. But it also kind of sounded like it was coming from outside. But then it kind of started taking on like a haunting tone to it. I'm like, what the hell? And Russell didn't seem all that concerned by the noise. I'm like, no, no, I don't know what this noise is. I don't know if we have a problem in the kitchen. We have to find this noise. And he's like, whatever. And I'm like, no, 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 we have to find the noise. It took me about 15 minutes, but I finally found the noise coming from some pans that we had stacked um, under something, like under a cart on a shelf. They were rattling just just so that even when you stopped moving, the vibration was continuing through them. And I'm like, oh, that's creepy. And it didn't stop until I tapped it with my foot. So at least now I know what the noise is when it randomly decides to start. But it was real fucking creepy. Paint on my contact paper. Oh, hey, it scrapes right off. Nice. Okay, so we've got some glorious gold, some varsity gold. Tiniest, tiniest little bit of some orange. Grab that other varsity gold since that seemed to want to be in here. And a little bit more of our glorious gold. I know we're going to need more than just what's in my hand, but I kind of like to mix them as I need them. Okay. So, I'm just going to kind of fan out our top, start to get that tapped in. Get a little bit of an anchor going before I trim the bottom. Just so it doesn't all go flying everywhere. When we don't want it to. I 
think our other pieces were a little bit thicker. I seem to be a little bit stingy. It feels like in this section. is driving me crazy. So it's definitely gonna get shuffled back to its home later since it doesn't have to be here now. I would do it now but it's going to be a pain in the ass to do it now. Alright, so let's get this guy tagged into there. Got a longer guy in there. He did not want to trim out of there. Alright. And I guess it's going okay. Not my favorite one we've done so far, but it's all right. So we don't have to take this like all the way down for every section. So, Zuzu, you have the most Ow. impeccable timing ever. Where is this? tapped into there. That's the delivery that we were waiting for. Hey! Why are we barking? Don't you be barking. No borking. the dog food for the other dog that just got delivered. I think. I'm not a hundred percent certain. I think that's what that was. Okay. So I'm gonna take this guy about 
here. And we'll see how that's looking. I don't know if I really want to take it all the way down to the edge of the water. Susie, what you doing? Did you even get to potty? I know, like, they were here the second you guys walked out. I don't know if you got to go potties. Okay, so how about in this section? We uh, stick you about there. I don't know what's going on. Unless Russell wants to take the dog food to the back. I don't think I need to go investigate. Not sure though. Let's right, so go a little bit more with our yellow. A bit more with our like gold ochre color. Tiniest bit. Of orange. And sure, let's add in that little bit of yellow. Why not? Why not? Hang on, Zuzu. Alright, you guys, I need to go see what's going on because Russell's still not back yet. I will be right back. At least take the puppy out.
Okay, sorry about that. Very sorry. Whoop. Very sorry. Russell had to deal with the delivery guy. And then he had to go deal with the other dog. So, yay. I'm like, well, did Zuzu pee yet? He goes, no, the guy was out here and Zuzu started barking and then I had to deal with this. Alright, so then I had to get Zuzu to pee. And then Zuzu wanted to hang out with the other dog, but the other dog had a toy. And we don't know how she reacts to other dogs around her toys. We know that there might have been a incident with her and the Doberman, so... So he got her to get out of the trailer. So he is sitting outside with her for a minute. successfully follow kind of slopey down the hill thingy here I'm not sure how much grass I'm gonna do on ours Probably definitely not as tight as it was up in there, but we might do it a little bit differently here. Like I might have some more gappy dudes down in here. No whining, sir! You're such a jealous little brat. He's mad because he knows Russell's outside giving the other dog attention. And not Momo either, giving the, um, his one aunt's dog attention. Because we have the dog back. Oh, joy. Hey, Zorts. Wait, why didn't the flamingos go off? Should have been flamingos. I didn't hear them. I didn't see the pop-up. Stream elements. What the hell? There might have been an update. Well, what the fuck? Where? Why is that being stupid? Like, that should have... <sighs> oh, 
Okay, well that worked. I don't know what the fuck happened. Well, that's weird. Maybe the nice number broke it. Yeah, I don't know. That was fucking weird. The test I did worked. Stream Elements is in the chat. And they're on the top of the thing. It should have gone off. It went off yesterday. Hmm. Things need to stop breaking. My patience is running short. Especially with the fucking shenanigans that happened last night. <sighs> So, the mother-in-law, like I had t said previously, had to go up to New York for this extended family member. The part-time caregiver for this extended family member was having a rough time dealing with everything. The extended family member's wife um, ended up passing away after she got up there. He's not doing well. And so she had to be up there to help. And we have no idea how long she's going to be up there. No idea. And we did not want to be stuck with the rambunctious, high-energy Doverman who had been dumped previously and was just get settling in to her new family. And I'm like, y'all both can't leave this dog that's been left before. Like, she's not going to understand. She's already freaking out. And so they're like, okay, so the, the mother-in-law took the Doverman with her. And her sister was supposed to come down from New Hampshire, the dog's owner, to, to pick her up because we don't know how long she's going to be in New Hampshire. She can't fly the dog home, though? So I don't know how this is going to work. Um... <laughs> They had taken the aunt's other dog, the Rottweiler, to her other sister's down here because the dog liked it there. And I, I don't know if that sister has a fenced in yard or something or what, but that sister doesn't mind that dog and it's old as dirt. I think it's like 15 years old. And uh, she's got some issues and so... That sister had the Rottweiler for about a week, and last night, a little after seven, Russell got a call on his cell phone, and it was his uncle, the, the wife, or the, the uncle, um, the husband of the sister that has the Rottweiler. Their daughter is apparently having a crisis, and the this particular aunt of his has to go to where her daughter is to help her with something or deal with something for the next week oh really that's so cute I love puppies I'm gonna be a big puppy male or female I mean this dog's sweet but she's old and she's got all kinds of medical issues and Russell and I are like eh. and she's stubborn she's half deaf half blind um and she's a, a handful for us to move and get moving especially when she's in the trailer there's not much room to move in there and so they can't take the Rottweiler to her daughter's because the daughter has her own two dogs and they don't know how the Rottweiler and these two dogs are going to get along. And the husband can't watch the Rottweiler because he has to go for cancer treatment this week or something in Oklahoma City. So he's not going to be home. So 
It's like, what the fuck? Whoa, 200 pounds, yeah. And... So, we ended up back with the Rottweiler. The Rottweiler does not want to be in the house. We tried bringing her in. We were gonna puppy gate her into my mom's room so we could get her out the door without too much trouble. And that way she was separated from the boys because the boys get barky at her. Um, we're not sure if it's excited barky or why the fuck are you in my house barky. Um, Zuzu doesn't mind her outside. Momo is afraid of her. And, um, I don't know what the story is inside because inside we had trouble with Charlie standing over him and Charlie was like a flea compared to, um, to the Rottweiler. And I'm like, th this is not going to work. So we were going to put Russell and the Rottweiler in his mom's room and see if he could get her to settle down, but then there were spiders on the bed from when we brought in all the wind chimes and shit from outside from the bad storms a few days ago. We haven't gotten them back outside yet, and he needs to pull all the bedding off and wash it. And when, while he was dealing with all of that, I was outside with the Rottweiler trying to get her to go potty after his aunt dropped her back off because we didn't know if she had been potty yet. And she's like refusing to potty, and then she walked in front of the trailer door and sat. Like, she would not leave. She refused to move from there. And um, I'm like, oh, this is good. And so Russell finally came back. I couldn't even get her to go back up front so I could talk to Russell to tell him what was going on. And I couldn't leave her there. And I'm like, we got a problem. And he's like, yeah, I know. He goes, he was telling me about the situation with the bedding. He didn't have time to wash it last night. And... So, and I'm like, she does not want to leave from here. She is refusing to, to cooperate now. And um, she's well over 100 pounds. Well over. This dog is going to do what it's going to do. And I'm just along as an observer at this point. And uh, so we ended up settling her into the trailer. Russell stayed with her for a little bit. And then he came back up to the house, and then this morning she wouldn't go out. He tried multiple times, couldn't go out. He had me come out, try to get her to get up. Finally, we had to, we got his aunt on the phone that owns the dog yelling at her on speakerphone to get up. She's like, nope. Finally, we had to pick up the dog bed where her butt was and like lift it up before she finally stood up on her own because pulling her collar was doing nothing. She's like, what? So. And we don't know if his aunt's going to come back and um, take the dog. Oh, he must have messaged me that and I never got it till now. Okay. But um, we don't know if his aunt's going to come back in a week and take the Rottweiler back to her place. That hasn't been mentioned yet. And, um, we have no idea when the dog's owner, that particular aunt, is coming back from New Hampshire. We have no idea when his mom is coming back from New York. And we're like, oh my god. What is happening? The Rottweiler's very upset and very depressed. And just laying there staring at us like we're the stupid ones. Because her whole routine's been disrupted again. She doesn't know where her people are. She was brought back by not her people. We're only side tolerated people. Like, she doesn't want to be in the house. She wants to stay out there. I'm like, oh, good. So then his, the aunt that was babysitting her forgot to bring her fresh pet pet food. So then she ordered that and had that delivered to us earlier. Did you get her back in? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. It's been shenanigans and fuckery for the last less than 24 hours. 
And I feel really bad for the dog in all of this because she doesn't know what the hell's going on. Sort says hello! He walked out of the room. I don't know where he went. He might have went to the bathroom. Just, what the hell? <laughs> I'm like, your mom might have to tell them she has to come back to deal with this dog. Like, she can't be up there indefinitely. But I just realized the aunt flew up there. The sister that's been traveling with her. The, the Doverman's owner. So I have no idea. Because the aunt was talking about coming to New York to pick up the Doverman. If his mom leaves in the meantime and comes back home, how are they getting the Doverman home? The aunt's going to have to rent a car and drive back. Because... She doesn't have any paperwork for that dog to fly with it. Like, any vet records she might have for that dog are here. I don't think that dog would fly very well either. We'll have to do some more tests with stream elements tonight. And see what the hell's going on with that. If we have the time. We've sort of got stream avatars up and running. The, the most basic of basics for it. Um, we haven't done any outfits or hats or anything for them yet. We haven't added in any custom sounds for it yet. There's like one base jumpy game active for it. However, we realize that I can only run stream avatars on days that I'm not doing art because I take the art streams and sometimes cut them down and use them for speed projects. So um, I can't do that if stream avatars is running on top of it. Russell, uh, Zortz said hello. Hi Zortz. And stream avatars, or not stream avatars, uh, stream elements alert didn't go off earlier when Zortz resubs. I managed to trigger it manually through the overlay stuff, but I don't know what's going on. Okay. And apparently I also need to get a compressor for my microphone on OBS. To make me louder. Well, like I said, we'll look into it. I wasn't that close to the mic and I wasn't projecting as much, I guess. Just filling in our grassy bits here on our little hill. So how is Zorts? Having fun with the puppy? What did she name the puppy? Like, is it a completely opposite name of its stature, or... Is it a fitting name? Did you have to put the toy up? Like, is she gonna destroy it? She shouldn't. Okay. Zuzu destroys new toys if they're of a certain texture to get the squeaky out. Oh, 
Or at least he did that when he was in his extra aggressive, chewy, destroy everything in sight phase. But he hasn't been that excited about chewy toys either. He'll like be kind of excited and then he loses interest in them like within five minutes. And then once in a while he'll grab it and chew on it a little bit and then he's like, meh, I'm bored now. I did end up getting that box out from underneath of my desk because my back was burning from how I had to sit with it under there and does need to be there now anyway because we don't have to keep Zuzu locked out of my mom's room because the dog's not happy in the house. See, it's almost the race. We have a little bit more time here on this today. So, anybody doing anything tonight for St. Patrick's Day? If that's something you do anything for. Some people have like traditional Irish food for dinner. What is it? Corned beef and something? So I need a little bit more happening down in there. Oh, I... took the tutorial away when I was dealing with stream elements. I'm trying to deal with stream elements. I was looking at the screen, I'm like, something's missing. But what? Okay. I'm just mixing some more grassy bits here. As best as we can. Do a little bit more of our gold friend here. Oh, hey, you know what? I found the bottle cap. It had fallen. Let's put that back on so I don't accidentally forget and that gets tipped everywhere. That would not make me happy. At all. And I didn't see that message you sent me till like a couple seconds ago. Yeah, no problem. I just sent it in case you were curious where I was. Well, Zuzi was like freaking out because you didn't come back for him. And... and I wasn't sure where you had gone to. Oh, 
Oh, right. So I'm not going to take this like all the way to the bottom corner because I need that bottom corner space. for our signing spot, but we're not quite ready to sign it yet. I do want to make sure I leave that open. It's supposed to get cold again. Winter does not want to give it up. Supposed to dive down to 29 tonight. That's not fun. It's gonna get chilly. Kind of over this cold weather bullshit. I'm not sure if this is the last couple of cold days we're going to have yet. Because April can be a little funny. But we also want to start planting. But I'm not sure if we can yet. We should at least be able to get our dirt filled into our planter boxes. Got some kind of something poking up out of the ground in the planter boxes that were most recently put down. There's no dirt in them yet. There was just gravel and Russell said he dug up what was there. So I don't know what this is that's poking up through the gravel that we put in there for drainage. It almost kind of looks tulip like but there was never any tulip bulbs planted there so I'm really confused I don't know what it is and I really doubt it's it's um uh, elephant ears I don't think it's that I didn't think it had been warm enough for them to start um punching up that high but I also don't think we planted anything else in there so I'm, I'm, I'm so confused I've got some flowers trying to poke up in the one planter box that we didn't touch yet so okay fair enough because I think those are I don't know what they are. They're not the ble I don't think they're- no, they're not the bleeding heart ones. Those we had tried to plant in a different spot and nothing happened with them. I don't think. I think the morning glories kept taking over, so... We gave up and we're letting the morning glories win and planting different ones. Or new ones since they want to be in that particular planter so damn bad. I almost got some more moonflower seeds, but... Didn't end up doing that. Oh, he's probably mad because I moved the box. This tapped in. So you work tonight, Zorks. Hmm. 
I want to put any more in there. I guess we need to put a little bit more. If you're still here, you may have wandered off. You go back in that bag. And we need this. I don't need a whole lot of this though. Because we don't have that much more to go here in this particular spot. Or at least I don't want that much more in there. Alright, so... Get this popped into here. Definitely want to leave this corner of um, clear and available, so that way we're not fighting with that. Just another little bit right there, I think, will be good enough for that spot. So make sure that everybody's attached in here. Kind of letting our grassy bits pick what directions they want to lay in. Okay. So maybe just a couple more bits of grassy things. right in here just so it's not quite so barren right there but I want to leave that corner kind of open because that's just how I want to do it didn't use back in their respective containers so they're still usable Oof. okay sorry I wasn't sure if the camera froze again because that did freeze on me earlier That was before we got started. And I'm not sure what that was about either. Okay, so let's see where we're at tutorial wise. Uh oh, he's got a big brush. Why does he have a big brush? 
Bye, Bob. Oh. He goes in there. And he ends up making everything, like, he tries to dull it down a bit, but it also kind of makes it fuzzy. I've done the best that we can <laughs> with that, so um, I can't really do anything about that. He's just kind of cleaning up his reflections. He adds a little bit more right under this section, but like I said, the dowel rod's going to sit there, so I'm not going to bother. Okay, so he's got like 10 minutes left in this tutorial. Okay, so he's putting in a tree. To the top of the canvas. Where's the bottom of it though? Okay, so it kind of looks like it's about in here. Maybe. Okay, so he adds a little bit of a highlight, and I think I have a color that I can use for that. It's not pulled out, but Okay, so this is where he, then he puts the guy in. Okay. That's a very tall guy, Bob. His butt's kind of floating. Where's my keys? Where's my keys? Oh gosh, and then we have to put highlights on them. I didn't realize you put highlights on them. Lurr. Is that the only spots he puts the highlights? Or did he... Camera guy! I would like to see what's happening. Camera guy! 
We need to see what he's doing, camera guy. We can't see on this three-quarter split here. Sir. I, I need to see the guy. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, that's not the color. Um, looking for. Okay. Well, I guess we have to start putting in a tree. We're gonna be done this sooner than I thought we were. Like we won't be finished today, but we might very well be prepping those dowel rods on on stream. I guess I need to find them tonight or prep them tonight. Ah, okay, I got that little too thin. Oh, well, maybe not. All right, so what do we want our tree to kind of So this is like the one edge of it, I guess. And we'll start to get this guy worked into here. I almost feel like we should have Maybe gone more black on this, though. Maybe. Okay, so we'll definitely have to thicken this guy up a little bit. this side of the tree and we're gonna take you up pretty tall here to our top edge to tailor that upper dowel rod. Unless I go with the smaller ones. If we go with the smaller dowel rod. Um, since we didn't plan for the smaller dowel rod, that's going to be tough. Like super, super tough. don't really have quite enough to fold over. Does that go? 
Okay, that kind of goes all the way up to the top edge here. I mean, now granted, ours doesn't necessarily have to. I'll connect to that in a second. Should have added a little bit of black to this. Just to darken it up a little bit. There's a lot of brown and stuff happening here. into there. Excuse me. Needs another little piece. It got a little weird there. Where that arm connects. Let's hit that up. I don't want the squirrel falling through the tree there. something. Alright, now let's see if we can get this figured out here. So he's a little bit of a thicker tree. Right, so this is going to be the other side of our guy here. start to get everything filled in here. figure out what I'm doing about dinner because I don't know. I have some kind of chicken thawing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. And there lies the problem. Like what do I want to do? I might make orange chicken. We haven't had that for a while. I should have had you get wraps. Huh? Should have had you get wraps. Why? To make chips with. Oh, 
I don't know. Are you even up to doing that? Ah, I haven't been able to get anything yet, so. I mean, if you're not up to doing it, you're not up to doing it. All right. this attached into here because you know I want to use that little guy since we had him pulled out I might as well All right. hopefully we can still see this tree once I start filling them in That's the next thing, right? It's like, uh oh. Now the guy. I think the guy I'm gonna do in uh in black here. Just so he doesn't become one with the tree. I kind of feel like he'd have a darker silhouette. And honestly, I probably should have done this tree in black. all kind of the same dark brown in here hopefully we don't lose the tree entirely to the background like a rusty like burnt orange color that we can probably get away with as the highlight on the fire side of the tree is what I'm thinking hopefully Hopefully that will work. It's just getting some water on my hands so that we can uh, get this fluff to cooperate here. So let's try to fill in this bit. a little bit more down there at the base of the tree like right in here
Okay, a lot of fluff we are stabbing through here. Lots of fluff. Alrighty. Oof, click. See, that's always a fun adventure when you move in one way and suddenly a joint makes a pop or a click and you're like, I wasn't trying to do that. What the hell? Like, oh my goodness. Do you have your wallet? tree trunk is kind of, our, our branch is kind of weak ass though. Compared to the rest of the tree I might have to thicken that boy up a bit. Alright, sorry I did have to turn it sideways. So we can get a better idea of where we are placing. Let's me see the edge of that tree a little bit better. Fluff and stuff. We're getting there on that tree. Still feel like he's kind of melting into the background a bit. So I don't know. to see what happens when we add in the um, highlight on the other side of the tree here. done a pretty decent amount today between getting that little dirt section filled in and um, then getting the grass put in on top of it and now we're working on our tree guy here. So 
So we're actually making some pretty good time today. But we are starting to get towards the end, so we don't have that much left to do. And that much is certain. It is game night. I don't know how much I'm going to get done tonight. I think if I'm going to prep those dowels, I'm going to have to do it in between what video editing I can get done. Because we have to play, well, we're supposed to play Uno tonight. and potentially Scrabble. Potentially. I don't know if we actually are. Because we have to also have to deal with outside dog. Well, not technically outside dog. The ant's dog. that dog dinner and walked and get our guys in the house dinner. Uh, unfortunately, Harp's no longer here, he said. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, so we'll have to venture out to Walmart at some point in the next couple days. So it's not like they were out. They're, no, they're just... they have no place for them. They redid that section. Oh. Well, that's fun. Okay, so no crunchy noodle crackers with dinner tonight. Okay, so this branch feels like it needs to be a little bit thicker. Felt a little weak sauce for how thick the trunk was. So let's get that guy worked into there. I have to find my rods. I don't know where I left them or where they got moved to when we rearranged everything. I think I know where they're at, but I'm not 100% certain I know where they're at. Okay. Alright, so I mean, we can kind of see it. Kind of. Kind of there. Once we get the guy in, it might be a little bit better. So I think we'll grab. Hmm. Do I actually want the rocks or do I want the cinnamon? I think we'll grab the cinnamon. I hadn't pulled this color out, so... Right. So I believe he added like the smallest bit to the edge of the branch here. Oh, 
Okay. So we'll get that guy in there. A little bit more water. And we'll get this guy. Kind of lead out here. Gonna try to oh for fuck's sake I just saw a face in the shrubbery next to this tree and now I can't unsee it and it's gonna be really fucking obscure for someone else to see it I think because it's not that obvious I'm only kind of see it when I'm not focused on it Looks like somebody peeking out from behind the tree in like a little tiki mask. Oop. Okay. It's extremely subtle. And I'm sure I'm the only one that sees it because I only partially see it. if I was going to have to trim that little tail off, but uh, nope. Nope, but nope. We don't have to. Okay. Alright, so that's not so bad. Now, the guy's going to take a little bit of time, and I really don't want to rush through him, so I think we're going to pause there today. I think that's a good stopping point for today. Um, tomorrow we'll be back working on this. I don't know how much more we really have to do after the guy goes in. Because after the guy goes in, there's only like five more minutes. So he might just be addling, like, adding like some little silly things. So I'm probably going to have to try to prep those dolls tonight if I can find them. So we're getting closer to finish. I don't know if we'll be finished tomorrow. I just don't. Um, we'll see. If we don't finish tomorrow, then we'll finish next week. But um, we're getting closer. We're in the final stretch on this guy. So... Um, I will see everybody tomorrow to pick it back up on this. I hope everybody has a good night. If you're celebrating for St. Patrick's Day, make sure you do a designated driver or, you know, have a way of getting home so you're not driving. Have a good night. Hope if I don't see you tomorrow, well, if I don't see you tomorrow, I hope you have a good week. But I do hope I see you tomorrow. And, um, everybody, uh, until next time.